With this effect, even the most monotonous footage can appear a lot more entertaining. I'll demonstrate how to construct these great animated split screens in today's video editing tutorial. So, without wasting any further time, let's get into the video. I have few clips prepared inside of Premiere Pro for this demonstration. Well, begin with a simple side-by-side -side animation split screen and progress to a lot more complex one later. Go to Effects, search Crop and drag and drop it onto the first clip. Now go to Effects Control, go few frames ahead and then add a keyframe to right, left and position. Move more few frames ahead and then change this left value to 25% and the right value to 25% and then shift this towards the right side. Go to the first set of keyframes which is this and how you can go exactly here just click this and it will transfer you to the previous keyframe and this will transfer you to the next keyframe. Now on to this first set of keyframe, we'll drag, we'll take this second clip and put it on top of. Now again go to effects search crop and drag and drop the crop onto the second video. Now add a keyframe to position left and right. Again go back to the down clip and then move towards the second set of keyframe which is this then select the upper clip and then here do this left value to 25% do this right value to 25% and then position this to the left side of the video <laughs> On both of the clips, what you need to do is that select the second set of keyframe and add is in and on the first set of keyframe add is out. Similarly, you have to do with the second clip. Now we are just one step left for our first half of animated split screen is that what you need to do is select the second clip and go to the first key set of keyframe and from here change this position to left side and move this completely out of frame. Something kind of like this. This split screen is looking amazing in itself. Now let's add an another clip to the split screen animation. So right now go little frames ahead and then select the down clip and then add a keyframe this dot that is a still keyframe to position left top and right and here you have to add a new keyframe which is top now go to the upper clip and again add the keyframes to position left top and right now we'll call this the third set of keyframes so select all the third set of keyframes and add a ease out effect and repeat this process for the down clip now go little frames ahead and then select the second clip and go down from here crop this right from increase this crop of right from 25% to 36% and then change this position towards left side and little bit something kind of this now select the first clip 
and then go downwards change this value of left from 25 to 5 percent to the top value 26 percent and do not interfere with the right value now position this towards down right side of this video we added this is our fourth set of keyframes select all of them and add a ease in effect similar for the second clip now go to the third now go to the most down clip go to the third set of animation keyframes and then select this your last clip and place it above on top of every layer here on this fourth clip we won't add any kind of crop to it but we'll play with the position and scale so let's add a keyframe to position and scale and right now at the third set of keyframes we have to move this first to a totally left side so that it goes out of the screen and before just going out stop it and then put it on top side and out of the frame and then also create some kind of value from here select the below keep once again move to the first set of keyframe at the topmost clip again and then add a new keyframe which you have to do is that bring the clip back you can leave the border as how as you want now select this last set of keyframe and add a ease in and select the first set of keyframe and add a ease out to it and boom you are ready to go and that concludes this tutorial on a split screen animation once you're familiar with the process you may create countless variation i hope you found this lesson helpful i have to leave because i want to buy a burger soon because right now i'm really craving for it thanks for watching and have a great day Thank you.